really I will talk with, uh, with the tear in my eyes. I try to control myself. My family, is all my city is my family. I don't talk about just my close family. All the Christian cities were my family and they are my family. And unfortunately, they are in a bad situation. In one night, they were forced to leave everything and to try to find refuge in north of Iraq. And now, thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of people are, are sitting in the street. They wish to have a cup of water, something to drink, something to eat. And this is what I have this morning from the bishop sitting in the sun with his people, trying to comfort them. The humanitarian situation, it is absolutely terrible. We are witnessing a genocide, ethnic and religious cleansing in our 21st century. And we cannot, absolutely everyone has heart, has a human heart, cannot not thinking to do something to save these people. I urge everyone, all the humanitarian organization, go there, offer them something. Try to help in way or another. Please, in the name of the children, in the name of women, elderly people who are staying in the street, go soon possible. Bring your help and help them, please. And what have your flock, the people there, left behind? Are their churches destroyed? Have the manuscripts been destroyed? They left all the history, 2,000 years of history. We left it in the hand of the most terrorist group. And still now, I'm wondering how the governments, the Western governments, the American governments, who they declare that they are defending the human rights, what they are waiting, that thousands of people dying in the street, then they will say, we are sorry? Who cares about your sorry? We don't care. We are telling you, 10 years, since 2003, we are saying the Christians are not safe in Iraq. Do something. Really, we are disappointed about our British government, who declared that he is defending the human right everywhere around the world, and until this moment, he didn't act, he kept silence. It's not time of silence. If you keep silence, everyone in the world, everyone in the world, if keeps silence now, he is participating in this crime, in this genocide. No way. Don't tell me any other thing. No political interest, no economical interest. It is 200,000 people displaced in the street. What are you waiting to do? When you are going to act? Okay. What we are waiting?